which presents itself with more challenges to machine. So we've got a bone plate here, but not one, we've got two machined on, on this machine, this Boomatech machine. Um, plenty of challenges within this, I assume, is that? Well, bone plates come in different shapes and sizes depending on where they're going to go in the body. So you, you could start with something very small, up to something this kind of size, which presents itself with more challenges to machine. But what does a bone plate actually do? Is it if the bone's broken or it's fractured, it supports it? Well, if, if, if a bone's fractured, then generally it, it, it'll heal. But if you've got a bad break, then the surgeon may decide to use a bone plate where, where they'll actually basically screw one of these on to join the bone together. Okay, so the challenges. So the, the, the challenges, often these are made in a single piece from bar. Um, which, which, which is fine. We decided in this case to, to nest two components into a bar. Firstly, for better material utilisation, less scrap, and also to reduce the cycle time. So we're saving about 20% by doing two together rather, rather than individuals. Now, when you take a machine of this nature, a highly advanced technical machine, you've got two spindles here, I'm, I'm assuming you're, you're using those to hold this part, are you? Why are you doing the milling? You are. Well, I mean, you, you, you can see by the, by the shape of this, it's an unstable component. So we start with a, a bar-fed um, artifact through the spindle, um, and whilst it's held in a rigid state, we, we just machine the, 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 the datum end, if you like, and then we pull the bar through. Now, holding between centres, we then machine the rest of the component, but it's really important that we have synchronized drives and we have hold of the part throughout the whole process otherwise if we let go it's just going to spring and you might get chatter and stuff like that i suppose with a part well, like this when you're machine. for sure i mean it's crying out to, to, to vibrate and, and and chatter so we can apply um tension and compression to the components to try and tune out the chatter frequencies likewise we can apply them to the to the to the spindle range to try and um, smooth out the, uh, the harmonics and the chatter frequencies. You can see you require a very good surface finish. Um, there's also no burrs allowed on this component. It has to come off the machine completed. And there's a lot of fairly complex shaped holes and complex machining in, in true five axis. And with the material typically being a titanium, I assume quite hard to machine. You're also, the, the finishing process is turning it from two into one. It is, so th th this, is, this is still, uh, obviously two, two parts in the billet. So the next stage after this is to, is to disconnect the ends of the first component and then we use the automation system on the machine to take that first part away and then we rotate it, do the same to the second part. So the components come off finished, they're dropped into a, 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 a tray and taken out of the machine all automatically and then we just start again. So it's lights out manufacture.